tonight I want to uh, demonstrate how to adjust your um, your load setting on a Remington Model 11. Uh, a common problem people have is their shells are not ejecting uh, properly from this from this old shotgun, um, and your shotgun's not broken. It's probably just not set up right for the correct load. Uh, there is generally two uh, settings on the coil spring uh, and and friction rings. Uh, you got a heavy load setting and a light load setting. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make that change uh, and hopefully resolve your ejection problem. So we know our shotgun is safe. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is uh, take off the take off the cap off the uh, off the magazine tube. So all we gotta do is just hold on to the you wanna hold on to the uh, forend here. Remove your tube cap and just let the spring push it forward. Alright. And now your your handguard will come right off and so will your barrel. All falls off real easy. Okay, so looking at this, I can tell right now that this thing is set up for heavy load. And this would cause me to have ejection problems if I'm shooting light loads at the trap range and getting frustrated. <clears throat> okay, so how do I know this? Well, because the rings are all up here in the front at the, the muzzle end. So if I pull these guys off, I'm going to show you how these things are set up. Pull these off. What you see here is you got the the brass friction ring with a uh, it's also got a, another ring around it uh, steel ring and then you got your your other friction ring which is just by itself and this friction ring has a uh, bevel on the inside and it's flat on one side bevel on this side so when you're set up for a heavy load the bevel end meets up with a brass ring and so when that uh, spring pushes forward on this recoil it causes this whole thing from the bevel to this steel ring and this brass ring to, to compress, slowing down uh, the action uh, to help with the, uh, with the heavy load. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. Now let's set it up to fire um, the light loads. All right, so all we need to do, it's real simple, just pull off your pull off your recoil spring, take that single ring with the bevel, but you want the bevel to face the receiver. You don't want it turned around. You want the bevel side to face the receiver. Right, slide that guy on there, take your recoil spring, put that one back on there, then take your brass and slide that on there. So essentially what we've done now is we've removed the ability for it to compress that ring. Um, since that bevel is no longer there, it can't squeeze on its way back. So now your gun is set up for light load. Let's uh, put it back together again. Real easy. Take your shotgun, put your barrel back on, uh, push down. Slide your hand guard back over it and while you're still pushing down the barrel. And take your tube cap or your tube nut. And screw that back on there snugly. Let the action back up and you're good. You're good to go. So that should take care of your ejection problem.